You know what that means. You know what that means. I'm Camp Counselor Sydney, and I'm so excited to be sitting down with Big Gigantic. It's it's an honor to have you guys, and I think thank you so much. Of course, thanks thanks for having us. Yeah. So, how many scams have you played? What will this one make? You know, man, <laughs> probably like six or seven, maybe. Yeah, probably six or seven. Our first one, yeah. I think, was 2010. Yeah, 2010. Yeah. Nice. All on the sunshine. All headliners, or you start out hella small? Uh, yeah, so we first, um, I was telling someone this today, so we first started out on the campfire stage, and the campfire stage back then was basically like a pop-up tent with like a blue tarp over the top of it. Very grassroots, but it was really probably one of the most memorable ones we've done because it was just like, it was really cool, and really cool for us at the time. Whatever we played on, like pallets, there was no lights, yeah. I don't think. And it was Dom, like a party. Dom played it on one of the catering like the round catering tables yeah he, we needed like a table to set up his keyboard right. and computer and he like went into catering and like brought that out yeah. and set it up <laughs> and, and we were like squeezed on this little like eight by eight like pallet thing um and then all these people came out of nowhere and, and the stage was facing kind of into the sunset mm-hmm. and the sun i just remember the sun going down and like it just seemed like there were people for forever and we just rocked out with everybody and that kind of set us off in the midwest um illinois area chicago like you know, st louis all that stuff it really all of a sudden everybody was like we fucking love you guys <laughs> and and it, it it you know touring around here became one of our one of our favorite spots to kind of pop around So what makes summer camp so special compared to other festivals? Um, I would say uh, for for me personally, you know, we have uh, just a lot of friends and kind of, you know, family and stuff here, Midwest fans and stuff like that. So we always get to reconnect with a lot of people here. So it's always fun just reconnecting with our like deep fans, our longtime fans here. We get a lot of that here. And it's just a real diverse festival. Fans appreciate the the music side of it. A lot of them appreciate, you know, the more DJ side of it. So we kind of get all those together here at summer camp, which is nice. I agree. Yeah, everything Dom said, um, I agree with. (laughs) Fair enough. So what are some of your most memorable sets, times, things you've seen at summer camp? Uh, I'd say one uh, in particular was uh, one year we did a big charismatic set with uh, George Clinton came and uh, performed with us and that was yeah that was like great we were like whoa I can't believe this is happening right now that was that was definitely an epic one I love P-Funk I unfortunately wasn't there that scamp but how did that come about like that's epic how did it come about? It's it's hard to remember how exactly it came about, but obviously he was playing here, and um, how, what can we do to make something special happen? And I think he just talked to their team, and we just it all kind of happened and worked out. Happened, but anyways, George Clinton was really cool. We all got to hang out with him and chat with him, and he was a cool guy. And um, yeah, epic moment. Definitely an amazing moment because he, you know, George Clinton is George Clinton. He's obviously part of funk history. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the way it went down, I feel like it went down pretty organically and us kind of being like, he's here and talking to Ian Goldberg, the great Ian Goldberg, brought it all together. And yeah, it was, I'll never forget that for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting down and taking some time out before your set to answer some questions and get in the scamp mode. Welcome to summer camp. Yeah, ready to rage. <laughs>